welcome to my channel. This video is for Aries season. I will be doing a tarot reading for the collective to receive a message from our familiars, the animal that we have a connection with. But first, I just want to talk about Aries season and the energy around Aries season, how you can work with your animal during Aries season, and some activities that you can do with your animal so that you both remain balanced during this time. Aries season runs from March 21st to April 19th. It starts right around the first day of spring, the spring equinox and Ostara. Aries season is a little bit extra special because it starts the first season of the astrological new year, which gives off the same energy and vibes of spring. So new beginnings, fresh starts, feeling energized, motivated, inspired, that fresh spring energy. So the energy around this time, Aries season and spring is really great for new beginnings, starting something new, feeling fresh and optimistic. I have a lot of videos on the energy of spring, how to work with spring and your animal. Check those videos out if you're interested in more and more about Ostara or for some meditations to work with that time. The energy associated with Aries is passionate, energetic. There is a lot of intense energy. Aries energy is enthusiastic, courageous, can be very empowering and push us towards growth and loving ourselves more. The quality of Aries, they are typically brave. They take action and go after their desires. Aries energy can help you find momentum, make progress. Aries can also be impulsive, impatient, quick to anger, and prone to stress. So watch out for those qualities during Aries season. If you are experiencing some of those qualities, then know that you are a little bit out of balance, but there are things that you can do to bring yourself back into balance. During this time, it may be beneficial to embrace your inner fire, to try new things, take some risks. This is the time to initiate new projects and focus on moving outside of your comfort zone. So these are most likely things that you have thought about during winter, maybe set some goals around, and you haven't had the energy, the motivation, the inspiration to take action and get things going, get things moving, start moving towards those goals that you have been dreaming about, thinking about. Pisces season, which we are just leaving, was very dreamy and imaginative. So you may have received some ideas or a push towards something that you want to take action on, Aries season is the time to start taking action, to build up that momentum for the rest of spring and summer. When it comes to our animals, we can help them work with the energy of Aries. Animals are very in tune with the natural cycles and the current energy of the time. So we can help them work with that energy. And when we work with them as well as the current energy of the time, we bring ourselves into balance as well and our whole household into balance. Those that are around us are affected as well. So during Aries season, try a new activity with your animal. If you've always wanted to train a certain trick or take an agility class or enroll your animal in something, if you've always had an idea of something you maybe want to do with your animal, go on a hike or even just teach your cat to walk on a leash. If you've always had this thought that you've wanted to do it and never done it, now's the time to enroll in a class or take the steps necessary to do that activity with your animal. Activities where your animal moves their body is really beneficial during this time. During Aries season, it is important to move your body and provide your animal with opportunities to move their body. Even if that's just playing, playing with your cat a little more during Aries season, even seeing your animals get them moving a bit more than they had been in the winter. The winter, it was more likely that they were a little slower, a little sluggish, they slept a little more, didn't get outside as much. Airy season is now the time to start to move that body again. You may want to do something like purchasing your cat a new scratching post or a tree that they can climb on. Maybe it's time to upgrade their cat tree. Just get creative and provide your animal with different ways to move their body that is natural for them. 
scratching, running, digging, jumping, whatever comes natural to your animal and their breed. Also make sure that you and your animal spend time on self-care for Aries season. Make sure that you do activities that reduce your stress and your animal's stress. So think of things that stress your dog or your cat, your animal out. This may be barking at cars that drive by when they're looking out the window or people who walk by. This may be dog parks where your dog gets overexcited or maybe a little aggressive or nippy or can get a little rough during play. Avoid these types of activities that put your animal in a high arousal overstimulated state and bring in more activities that are calming, relaxing. So even though you want to provide opportunities for your animal to move their body, you want it to be in a way that is calming, that isn't stressful, that is relaxing and fun. Spend time with your animal doing activities that you already know that they enjoy. Consider what brings your familiar, the animal that you have a connection to, joy. How do they experience joy? Whether that's cuddling with you on the couch, getting groomed, brushed, getting a massage, having a slow walk in nature or playing fetch, going for a swim. What brings your animal joy? Try to incorporate that into your animal's schedule, routine for airy season. What is your animal passionate about? Provide them with opportunities to have fun, experience joy do what they are passionate about. Whether that's running, climbing, sniffing, listening to music, watching TV, all our animals are different and enjoy different types of activities. What is unique for your animal and their personality and preferences? During airy season, it is also important to let the past go. We're starting fresh, we're starting new. We don't want to think or dwell on the past. You want to embrace change and new beginnings. Airy season is a really good time to declutter, clean, think spring cleaning. Let go of belongings that you no longer need. It's a great season to finally empty out that closet and declutter your home. Also declutter your internal body, declutter your emotions, declutter any tension or tightness that you've been holding on to, as well as beliefs that have been limiting you and holding you back emotions and beliefs that are no longer in alignment with who you are or who you want to be. It's a great season to let go of those so you can move in to spring and summer feeling fresh and light and energized, inspired, motivated, ready for change, ready to receive your manifestations. Airy season is a great time to look at your animal's belongings. Do they have old collars, leashes that are frayed, broken? Can they be donated? food dishes, blankets, bedding, clothes, toys. Look at your animal's belongings and determine if anything needs to be thrown out or donated and what your animal needs new of and what they can get rid of. So now that we are familiar with the energy of airy season and have some activities that we can do with our animal to embrace the energy of airy season. I'm going to do a tarot reading. This reading is for anyone who's watching this video at any time. It's meant for you. It's a message from your animal to you for airy season for welcoming entering spring. I'm going to be using the Dragon Companions tarot deck. So I'll shuffle the cards. Just take a few deep breaths clear your mind, loosen your body, and be ready to receive whatever message. Receive it with clarity, acceptance, maybe send your familiar, your animal, some love, and thank them for this message. So what message does our animal have for us this Aries season? I'm going to be pulling three cards. The first card is Strength. This card represents what way our familiar wants us to take action. So airy season is about taking action. Depending on our situation, our action may be a big step or it may be a small little step. Just moving forward, making progress and momentum. So the action that our animals want us to take has to do with our internal strength. So they want us to build our confidence. They want us to grow that strength. So we know whatever challenges we're going to face, we can deal with it. What can you do this Aries season, which is about a month long? What can you do during this month 
that will build your confidence, your self-esteem, your self-worth. How can you feel really confident in your manifestations, in your desires, and in your ability to handle anything that life throws at you? We can also consider assessing our animal's confidence. How do they react in triggering or stressful situations and how can we build up their confidence so that they know they can handle that aggressive dog or they can ignore that annoying dog so that they know that they are safe, they are secure. How can you feel more safe and secure? When we work on ourselves, our animals will benefit from that as well. So our animal really wants to have more confidence, more strength, feel powerful and capable of doing anything. The strength card also has a gentleness to it. So it isn't about being strong with brute force and actual like physical strength. It's a very gentle, calming strength. It's just an inner knowing that we are capable and confident. We are able to handle anything, no matter what it is or how difficult it seems in the moment, knowing that we can handle any situation, any challenge, and we can do it with grace. We can do it with a gentle presence. We don't have to be strong, forceful forcing. It's not a strength that is intimidating or aggressive. It's a strength that is just an inner knowing, knowing that you are capable, having this inner confidence that isn't dominating or powerful in any way. It's just a gentle strength. So the actions that you take this airy season should be actions that help you foster, embrace that inner strength, that calming, gentle, secure, safe feeling inside of you, knowing that you can handle anything, no matter how big or how small it is, how difficult it is. What actions can you take that can help you feel that way more often? Our next card is the Ten of Cups. This card represents how your animal is assisting you in being brave and courageous. So Aries is a very brave, courageous energy. Aries energy is willing and ready to take risks. Aries energy doesn't consider the consequences that much. So this card represents how our animal is helping us be braver, take those risks and just kind of go head first into taking the action that we need to take, making the changes that we need to make. The Ten of Cups is a very loving card. It's a card that is full of all the good emotions, joy, love, happiness, gratitude, celebration, all those things that feel really warm and fuzzy, that feel really loving and happy. Those kinds of energies are embodied in this card. So our animal is helping us feel that loving, joyful energy. It's a very secure and stable energy. It's knowing that there's unconditional love here, there's unconditional trust here, and this is your relationship with your animal. Your animal has unconditional love and trust for you, and you have that for them as well. And they want you, when you are feeling fearful or unsure, when you're not able to tap into that brave, courageous Aries energy, when you're feeling a little timid or maybe feel that you're not ready to take a risk, your animal is showering you with love and affection, with security and comfort. They're helping you access those kinds of emotions, just spending time with them, doing those activities that bring them joy with them and being present in the moment will help you access that love, that joy, that fun, that unconditional love and trust. So they are helping you embrace and access that love, which will help you feel brave and able to take those risks that you need to take, the risks that airy season encourages you to take. So if you're feeling unsure about any changes, any movement progress forward, if you're feeling a little bit scared because it is scary to make changes and take risks when you are unsure of the outcome, you can turn to your animal for that unconditional love, for that joy, for feeling safe and secure. Just tune into them for that energy and they're here giving it to us so that we are able to take those scary moves, make those changes and take those risks. Our third card is the Two of Cups. It's really interesting that we have two cup cards because those cards are associated with the element of water and Aries is associated with the element of fire. So fire and water, 
they don't always go together. Water puts out fire. Water energy is emotional. It is fluid. It is movement. It is going with the flow, embracing your emotions. Water cards are associated with relationships, with love, with connections, and emotional awareness. So our animal really wants us to tune into those relationships, those connections, and the feelings of love and joy, those happy soft, gentle, positive emotions that we can feel. Our animal really wants us to create more experiences and embrace those loving energies, those loving feelings. Do things that bring those feelings out in you and share those feelings with your loved ones, the ones that you feel close to. The Two of Cups is also a card about making a commitment, making a decision and a choice and sticking with it. So you need to commit to your manifestations, commit to your goals and your dreams, and trust, know that they are meant for you, they are your destiny, and commit to doing whatever you can to making them a reality. This card represents how we can support our animals, which is the Two of Cups, how we can support our animals with this Aries energy. Sometimes Aries energy can make our animals feel a little bit impatient or maybe aggressive because the Aries energy is really intense. So we can help and support our animals by making a commitment, making a commitment to those positive emotions that I've mentioned our animals want us to feel, to experience, to bring more of into our life, do activities that bring them. Make a commitment that you will do those activities with your animal, you will provide your animal with activities that are loving, joyful, and also make a commitment to your animal that you are in a partnership with them, you are going to work with them. If they're experiencing health or behavioral issues, you are their partner. You are not going to give up on them and they aren't going to give up on you and the two of you are going to work together. Your animal isn't acting out or having these issues to make life more difficult to you. They are trying to help you. They're trying to guide you, assist you, support you, and they're doing it in the way that they know how, that those ways sometimes come out in behavioral issues, things that are maybe frustrating, overwhelming, or that we don't really know how to deal with, things like barking or whining when they shouldn't be or when we don't think they should be, or things like scratching the couch, destroying pillows, or not using the litter box appropriately. Those kind of behaviors that are more challenging that we need to maybe address and we feel that we're kind of working against our animal. We're like, why are they doing this? It can be stressful and frustrating and we don't know how to stop them and it feels like they are giving us a hard time. Those kinds of behaviors we can approach with our animal as a partnership that we're not looking at them as why are you doing this? We're looking at the situation with a lens of you are having a hard time, I'm having a hard time, and we are going to fix this together so that we both have a positive experience. Because our animals aren't doing these behaviors to give us a hard time, they're trying to communicate with us that something's wrong, that they're feeling uncomfortable, they're scared, they're anxious. That's why these behaviors are happening. So just approaching any challenges or situations from the perspective of we're going to work through this together. The Two of Cups is very much a partnership card full of unconditional love. It's similar to the Ten of Cups with the feeling of unconditional love and trust. So that is definitely a big message for us this Aries season. I hope these cards gave you some insight into how you can assist your animal and how they can assist you and what kind of things you want to get up to this Aries season, how you can work with the energy of Aries and spring. I will be posting a meditation for Aries season in addition to this video so that you can meditate with your animal and work with the Aries energy in addition to your animal's energy. So keep an eye out for that video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
Pets are more than just animals. They are spiritual beings with unique personalities and energies. Do you love your dog and want to live in harmony with your dog while understanding their needs and emotions? Instead of feeling frustrated or overwhelmed by your dog's behavior, improve your relationship with your dog and help them heal from any physical, mental, or emotional issues. I offer a unique combination of positive reinforcement training methods with energy healing techniques, animal communication, and tarot. Receive a personalized action plan created by a certified dog trainer and animal communicator. This package is perfect for anyone who wants to enhance and enchant their life with their dog. Don't miss this opportunity to get this amazing package. Apply now and get ready to create a magical relationship with your dog.